Welcome to another wacky episode of Science Video Quiz, starring me, Professor Science. Do I have a great show for you today. We're going to explore the amazing world of cell division, mitosis to be exact. So let's dive into this whole mitosis thing and see what's happening. You see, every living thing is made of cells. Every living thing goes through mitosis in order to grow. Trees, cats, elephants, and humans all undergo mitosis. When an organism grows, the cells don't keep getting bigger and bigger, they multiply. The body has to create new cells to make bigger bone, muscle, and skin tissues. New cells are also created to repair our tissues. Our bodies constantly replace old or damaged cells with new ones. Like when you cut your finger, new cells are created to replace the damaged ones. These tissue cells are called somatic. They are the basic unit that makes up our body tissues and organs. When these cells divide, the process is called mitosis. Mitosis is the division of somatic cells to create new, identical cells. During mitosis, the cell divides to make two cells, and two cells divide to make four, and four to eight, and eight to two, and eight to two, and eight to two, and eight to two. All right then, let's talk about the cell. Each cell has parts: a nucleus that controls the cell function, organelles outside of the nucleus that perform specialized tasks, cytoplasm to hold the organelles in place and a cell membrane that separates the cell from other cells and lets nutrients in and waste out. Did you know that cells have cycles? Different cell types have different cycles and not all cells reproduce. Nerve cells aren't replaced once they become mature. Some cells have a faster division rate than others and mitotic rates vary slightly among people depending on one's diet and age. This is why some people's hair and nails grow faster than others. Check this out. A bacteria cell, E. coli, reproduces every 30 minutes. A sea urchin has cells that double every two hours. Human cells divide much slower than that. Adult skin cells, like right here on my arm, divide about every 24 hours. A cell cycle begins with a stage called interphase. During this stage, the organelles produce energy and proteins to grow and build new cells. The organelles duplicate themselves during interphase. Also during this phase, the genetic material in the nucleus is duplicated. Next, the cell undergoes mitosis. A cell cycle is completed in the final stages of mitosis when the cytoplasm divides and the cell membranes form around the two new cells. A somatic cell is a typical body cell, like a skin, hair, or lung cell. It's eukaryotic, meaning it has a distinct nucleus. The nucleus is kind of like a brain. It controls everything the cell does. The nucleus contains the DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is our genetic code. This code is different for each person in the whole world. That's right, you are the only person in the entire world with your genetic code. <laughs> Unless, of course, you have an identical <laughs> twin. <laughs> DNA molecules join together to make up a complex strand called a chromosome. Now, somatic cells have a certain number of chromosomes inside their nuclei, depending on what organism it is. The number of chromosomes differ for each type of organism. Pea plants have 14, 
humans have 46 and goldfish have 94 chromosomes in each cell. Notice that all of these numbers are even. That's because our chromosomes exist in pairs. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, or a total of 46. Of each pair, one chromosome comes from your mother and the other from your father. Now, the number of chromosomes in a cell is very important. Somatic cells in humans must have 23 pairs of chromosomes, or a total of 46. This type of cell is a diploid cell because it has the full number of chromosomes. Almost all of the cells in the human body are diploid. The rest are haploid cells with only one chromosome from each pair. Haploid cells are produced for organism reproduction through a cell division called meiosis. But that's another show completely. Now, in the cell cycle, chromosomes actually start out as long, thin strands, or chromatin, which is like a ball of tangled thread. During interphase, the chromosomes duplicate. When mitosis begins, the chromatin condense and break up into short pieces that are chromosomes. This is what a chromosome looks like at this stage. The duplicated chromosomes join together at a single point called the centromere, and at this stage, they are called chromatids. Now we're ready to study the phases of mitosis. Remember, every cell in our body has identical chromosomes which are made from DNA molecules. This is all because of mitosis. Isn't that amazing? Well, I think you are ready to tackle your first set of questions. Take it away, guys. Hey, I'm glad you tuned in. This is DJ Ricky Way broadcasting the first question from KVQZ Science Quiz Radio. And away we go! Mitosis. A. Takes place only in brain tissue. B. Is how cells reproduce and tissues grow. C. Divides only the cell nucleus. D. Creates cells that are different from each other. Ah, will you look at that one? How did you do? Get that answer on paper and we're moving and grooving to the next question. See you on the flip side. Hello movie fans, this is Starstruck coming to you live from the latest big movie star premiere. I'm excited to be here and I hope you're ready because it's time for... Human haploid cells have A, 23 pairs of chromosomes, B, 46 chromosomes, C, 23 chromosomes, D, A, and B. Any luck? Write down those answers. Hang in there. That's what I tell all the superstars. Ahoy! Salty Gales here. I've just come back from a grand adventure. Maybe someday I'll tell you about it. But first, here's the next question. True or false? Mitosis is the division of somatic cells to create new identical cells. <coughs> well, what did you think? Be sure to write down your answer. The seven C's are calling me again, so I'm shipping out. Hello, I am Quizitar. Let's get connected and download this question. Humans have how many chromosomes in their somatic cells? A. 47 B. 46 C. 23 D. 48 Pick a number and write it down. It's time for me to recharge my circuits. Goodbye. Oh, hello there. Let me just make this turn. All right. While we're in the open stretch, here's a question to test your knowledge. A eukaryotic cell has A, 
no nucleus, B, a distinct nucleus, C, an indistinct nucleus, or D, two nuclei. Ah, oh, that's a tough one. How did you do? Write down your answer before I speed away on my next lab. Whew! I always get a little dizzy after the flight simulator. They test us for all possible problems and it's sometimes quite stressful. Help me relax by answering this. Chromosomes are made of A. Sugar and spice B. DNA molecules C. DNA and cytoplasm or D, the liquid from the cell. Way to go! You are so smart. I feel better already. I think I'll go back in for some more practice. See you later! Come on! Play yeah. yeah. game! All right, team. Way to retain that knowledge. Time for a quick drill. Chromatids are joined together at a point called the what? A. Center point B. Middle C. Nucleus or D. Centromere Hmm, that's interesting. Pick one and write it down. You wouldn't believe how hard this is. <laughs> While I get back to practicing, try this out. Diploid cells have A. 23 pairs of chromosomes B. 46 chromosomes C. 23 chromosomes or D. A and B What's your answer? Write it down. Well, I've got to keep on juggling. Partners, you caught me just as I was heading off to the rodeo. I have a quick question for you first. The genetic information for an organism is found A in the cell nucleus, B in the cytoplasm, C in the cell membrane, or D, all of the above. Wow, that looked like a wild ride, but I bet you hung on tight. Now just squiggle down your guess and we can move on to a harder challenge. Hi there! You won't need three wishes if you know the answer to this one. The cytoplasm, A, is a thick liquid, B is another name for the nucleus, C holds many of the cell's organelles, or D, A and C. Okay, write down your answer. I wish I could help you on that one, but I'm sure you don't need it. You already have an answer down, right? Great! Now, on to more fun and excitement with Professor Science! Ah, uh, hi. Welcome back. I bet you plowed right through those questions. Now that we know about the cell cycle and what happens to chromosomes before mitosis begins, it's time to learn the different phases of mitosis and see how this stuff really works. When discussing mitosis, Scientists refer to the original cell as the parent cell, the new cells as daughter cells. The pairs of chromosomes from the original cell are sister chromosomes, the duplicate ones are daughter chromosomes. Interphase is the longest phase in the cell cycle because there are many things the cell must do to prepare for mitosis. During interphase, the cell grows and DNA duplicates. After this happens, the cell is ready to divide. There are four stages to mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. It is in the prophase that the chromatin goes from a tangled ball to individual condensed chromosomes. Animal cells have centrioles that move to opposite ends of the cell and form distinct poles. Plant cells do not have centrioles but are still able to accurately divide. The centrioles produce tiny fibers that span across the cell between the two poles. This forms a spindle. Next, the cell's nuclear membrane begins to break down. The second stage is metaphase. At this stage, the nuclear membrane finishes dissolving 
and the chromatids align at the center of the spindle. The spindle fibers attach to each centromere. During anaphase, the chromatids separate into chromosomes when the spindle fibers pull them apart at the centromere. Each identical set of new chromosomes move to opposite sides of the cell, or the poles. At the start of telophase, the chromosomes are at opposite poles and the spindle fibers break down. The chromosomes elongate and become tangled in a ball of chromatin again. A nuclear envelope forms around the separate sets of chromosomes. Now remember, since the 46 chromosomes duplicate right before mitosis takes place, each new cell has an identical set of 46 chromosomes, or 23 pairs. Now it's time to divide the rest of the cell. The cytoplasm, cell membrane, and organelles were duplicated earlier during interphase. In animal cells, the cytoplasm divides as the cell membrane pinches inward, cutting the cell in half. This is called cytokinesis. Fully divided, there are now two daughter cells completely independent of each other. Each cell has its own nucleus with identical DNA, cytoplasm, cell membrane, and organelles. Cells separate a little differently in plants than in animals. The wall of a plant cell is more stiff and rigid than an animal cell membrane. Rather than moving inward, a cell plate forms in the center of the two dividing cells. The plate is made of hard cellulose deposits, which develops outward until the two cells are completely separate. A cell wall for each stems from the cell plate. And there you have it, folks. Cell division by mitosis. Don't forget how important cell division is. Cell division is the process that enables plants, animals, and other eukaryotes to reproduce and grow. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? With all this information fresh in your brains, my friends are going to come back to see what you know. Batten down them hatches, all of ye. A storm's a brewing. Ahoy, matey. Time again for all salty here to give you another question. During prophase, the centrioles, if there are any, A, join together, B, move to the center of the cell and form two separate poles, C, move to the opposite ends of the cell and form two separate poles, or D, none of the above. Oh, did you catch all that? Remember to write down your answer. I've got to see if my crew bound down those hatches. Hi everyone, Starstruck with the latest entertainment news. Oops, I mean the latest science quiz question. The four stages of mitosis in their correct order are A. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. B. Prophase, telophase, anaphase, metaphase. C. Anaphase, prophase, metaphase, telophase. D. Telophase, metaphase, anaphase, prophase. Ah, that's a good one. Well, there's always star phase and movie phase. Just kidding. Ha. I'm sure you know all of them. Just make sure you write those phases down before the next question comes up. Well, we're getting ready to head up to the space station. But before we go, you need to answer this. True or false, in plants and animals, the cell membrane pinches the divided cell mass into two cells. All right, I think we're ready for liftoff. Let's go. Hello, I am Quizitar. It is time again for another question. I hope you are ready. Here we go. The sister chromatids split completely in which stage? A. Anaphase. B. Interphase. C. Telophase. D. Prophase. What do you think? 
Use a writing utensil and a piece of paper to mark your response. Thank you for stopping by. It's time for me to go oil my sprockets. <laughs> Until I make a quick pit stop and spin a question out to you. During interphase, A, the cell grows. B, chromosomes start to duplicate. C, the cell prepares for mitosis. Or D, all of the above. Don't rush through that one. Pick an answer and write it down. Oh, I see the flag going down. I gotta run. <laughs> Hi everyone from KVQZ, it's me, Ricky Wave. I'm here to continue the countdown of the top 20 mitosis questions. This one has had major radio play. It's a big hit in Europe during metaphase. A, the chromosomes duplicate. B, the spindle fibers attach to the centromere. C, the cell membrane closes around the new cells. D, the chromatids split at the centromere. Okay, write down your answer. So what do you think? Does it make the cut? Write down your choice and keep tuned into the station with the best science questions around. All right, team. We've been practicing for this moment. Now get out there and show them what you're made of. True or false? During metaphase, the nuclear membrane finishes breaking down. How did it go? It's a 50-50 chance, so take it. Write down an answer and keep on moving. Go team, go! I haven't quite got the hang of this plate twirling yet. See if you can do any better with this. In which stage do the nuclear envelopes form around the separate sets of chromosomes? A. Anaphase B. Interphase C. Telophase or D. Prophase What do you think? Write down an A, B, C or D. Hey, I think I got the hang of this. Woo! The Bronco was a tough one. While I try and catch my breath, let's see if we can rope this next problem. After mitosis, the daughter cells contain A, half of the chromosomes of the parent cell, B, the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, C, a random number of chromosomes, or D, an unknown number of chromosomes. Y'all handle that just like professional ranchers. Write down your answer so we can mosey on over to the next question. Hi there. Before I return to my bottle, a wish was used to see if you've been paying attention. What structure inside the cell helps pull the chromatids apart? A. Centromere B. Spindle fibers C. Nucleus or D. Membrane Okay, write down your answer. We've reached the end! Did you get the last answer on paper? Great! Now back to Professor Science, while I return to my home sweet home. Well folks, there you have it. All you need to know about the amazing cell division process called mitosis. Coming up are the answers to the questions my friends gave you. Now I got a split. I'll see you next time on Science Video Quiz. Okay, good job. Here come the answers. Question 1. B. Mitosis is how cells reproduce and grow. Question 2. C. Human haploid cells have 23 chromosomes. Question 3. True. Mitosis is the division of somatic cells to create new identical cells. Question 4. B. Humans have 46 chromosomes in their somatic cells. Question 5. B. 
a eukaryotic cell has a distinct nucleus. Question 6. B. Chromosomes are made of DNA molecules. Question 7. D. A centromere is where the chromatids are joined together. Question 8. D. Diploid cells have 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 single chromosomes. Question 9. A. The genetic information for an organism is found in the cell nucleus. Question 10. D. The cytoplasm is a thick liquid that holds many of the cell's organelles. Question 11. C. During prophase, the centrioles, if there are any, move to the opposite ends of the cell and form two separate poles. Question 12. A. The four stages of mitosis are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Question 13. False. Plants have a hard cell plate that grows in the middle to split the two cells. Question 14. A. The sister chromatids split completely in anaphase. Question 15. D. During interphase, the cell grows, chromosomes start to duplicate, and the cell prepares for mitosis. Question 16. B. During metaphase, the spindle fibers attach to the centromere. Question 17. True. During metaphase, the nuclear membrane finishes breaking up. Question 18. C. The nuclear envelopes form around the separate chromosomes during telophase. Question 19. B. After mitosis, the daughter cells contain the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Question 20. B. The spindle fibers pull the chromatids apart. View all 10 titles in the science video quiz series. Atoms. Clouds. Classification. Forces. Motion. Climate and seasons. Fossils. Mitosis. Meiosis. Water cycle. I'm going to do a PA. <laughs> Anaphase, B. Interphase, C. Telophase, B. Stupid Quisitor.
videos, check your teacher's video company catalog or call us toll free for a new catalog at 1-800-262-8837.